Hey Math Kids, today we're going to talk about the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. And essentially it's just how we, we do definite integrals. And so if we, if we have a curve like this, maybe, and we want to look at the area from here to here, A and B. Essentially all we have to do is look at the integral from A to B of f of x, assuming this is f of x, dx. And the way that we do that is we take the antiderivative of f of x, which we're going to call capital F of x, and we plug in b, and then we plug in a, and we subtract those. Okay, so this is called the fundamental theorem of calculus. And so they start us off with, so we're bound by the x-axis. and We're also bound by y equals x squared. And we're going to go from x equals 0 to x equals 1. OK, so if we draw a graph of this, it's a parabola. Now it's bound on the top by this. It's bound by 1. It's bound by 0. And it's bound by the x-axis. So we want to know the area right there. So we don't have to draw a graph. But we just do an integral from 0 to 1, write our function, and then our dx. So what we need to do is we need to take the antiderivative of x squared. So we raise it to a 3, and then divide by that new exponent, 3. And then we're going to evaluate it from 0 to 1. So first we plug in the 1. And so we get 1 cubed over 3. And then we subtract it from plugging in a 0. So 0 cubed over 3. So this becomes 1 third minus 0, which is just 1 third. And so that is our final answer on that one. Okay. Need some more space. This time we're bound by the x axis. We're bound by y equals the square root of x. And we're bound by x equals 1 and x equals 9. So we set up our integral. We go from 1 to 9. I'm going to rewrite this as x to the 1 half dx because our antiderivative will be easier to take. So we raise it by 1. So that's 3 halves. Then we divide by that new exponent. So that's going to be 2 thirds. You can uh, multiply by the reciprocal if it's a fraction. And then we evaluate from 1 to 9. OK, so I'm going to plug in a 9 first. And then subtract that when I plug in a 1. OK. So 1 raised to anything is just 1. 1 times 2 thirds is 2 thirds. So we still have that piece. Now this is a little bit more tricky because I'm going to think of this piece as 9 raised to the third under a square root. So if I break that up, it's going to be 9 times 9 times 9. I have a pair of 9s, so that can come out. And then 9 can be written as 3 times 3. So I can multiply that by 3. All right. And I still have my 2 thirds right there, and I'm still subtracting this. So this 3 on top, 3 on bottom. So this just becomes an 18. Okay, It's not my answer, but I'm going to look at that. Now, um, if I think of 18, or do it over 1, and then get a common denominator, um, let's see, what is 3 times 18? 
56, 54. Okay, and so we end up with 52 thirds. Okay. All right. And that's it for this video. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab and tell then calculator.